Holidays Explorers, today I have a great Hanukkah story for you. It's called Schmelf, the Hanukkah Elf. The author is Greg Wolf, and the illustrator is Howard McWilliam. Up in the North Pole, covered in snow, you'll find Santa's workshop, as most of you know. But no one can do all the work by themselves, so helping him out is his army of elves. The most unsung, unsung elves are those who assist, are the elves in charge of checking the list. They all work so hard down to the last elf, and the newest of them was a fellow named Schmelf. Schmelf didn't spend time playing merry elf games, but sat in his cubicle staring at names. His job was to check through Santa's list twice to see whether kids had been naughty or nice. Schmelf loved what he did, but as Christmas drew near, he looked at his list and cried out, oh dear. He found many children who had been quite good, but would not receive presents, though it seemed that they should. He ran like a flash to see the head elf, who smiled and said, now, now, calm yourself, Schmelf. Of course, you don't know since you're still quite newish, but the kids on this list are actually Jewish. They don't celebrate Christmas, but that's fine, you'll see. They celebrate Hanukkah, their own jubilee. I, it won't be dear Santa who brings them a gift, but their mommies and daddies. Do you get my drift? Shelf, Schmelf returned to his desk with his mind quite shaken. Kids with no Christmas, he must be mistaken. So later that night, careful not to be missed, he snuck off to visit a house on his list. Schmelf peered in and wondered, could this be right? There wasn't a tree or a stocking in sight. Instead, he saw menorahs with candles so thin and children were giving their dreidels a spin. There was gelt chocolate coins wrapped up in gold foil and lodkas for frying in pans filled with oil. Then Schmelf saw that there were presents, one for each night. His elfish eyes gleamed as he squealed with delight. Schmelf listened as mom told the Hanukkah story of the Maccabees' battle for Israel's glory. And though the brave soldiers won their great fight, the temple had oil for just one more night. But once they'd set the oil ablaze, a miracle happened. It lasted eight days. Hey, now I get it, Schmelf said with a grin. Hanukkah's awesome. I'm totally in. He raced back north and went straight to the boss, the big man himself, good old Santa Claus. Schmelf explained his discovery, this holiday's grand. And when he was done, Santa held up his hand. Good schmelf, chuckled Santa. It fills me with joy to see how you care for Jewish girls and boys. It shows me that you are much more than a clerk, and so I will task you with this special work. Hanukkah is a time for family and song, for joy and tradition. It's where you belong. I've decided at Hanukkah you will travel the world and bring magic and joy to each boy and girl. Santa gave Schmelf clothes of white and blue, the colors of Hanukkah that Schmelf already knew. And a sleigh that could soar straight through the air with a Jewish reindeer with the name of Asher. Now, you good Jewish kids for eight nights each December, Schmelf will come visit and some years in November. He'll make sure your latkes are crispy and thin, your menorahs burn brighter, and your dreidels win. If there's one special gift that you'd like this year, tell Schmelf and he'll whisper it in your mom and dad's ear. He'll do what he can to nudge them that way in hopes that the present brings cheers of hooray. To reward Schmelf and Asher for their goodwill, you can leave out some gelt and a nice kosher dill. What a magical Hanukkah, you'll think to yourself. See you next year, Schmelf the Hanukkah elf. Happy Hanukkah, boys and girls.